Prepare yourselves for an emotional journey as we explore the profound impact of hearing your name linked to a change of address. This isn't just any relocation. It has the potential to revolutionize your entire world. Brace yourselves for a flood of emotions, as what lies ahead is guaranteed to evoke a powerful response like never before. God is telling you today that you are going to be the first millionaire in your family. This is a heavenly confirmation of the extraordinary potential that you possess. With confidence, you move on, embracing the vision and trusting in God's plan. Knowing that you are headed for extraordinary financial success that will affect not just your life, but also the lives of your family for many generations to come. Before moving forward, affirm your belief in God by commenting yes. Keep in mind our existence is influenced by what we receive, but the true meaning of life lies in what we give. A humble $40 contribution can offer sustenance for a child for several days. Are you ready? As you receive a sacred message from the divine today, understand that it heralds a momentous transformation in your life. This isn't a mere adjustment. It's a profound shift that will touch every aspect of your existence. This change goes beyond altering circumstances. It's about reshaping your very essence and future. As you reflect on this message, you might sense a stirring deep within, a mix of excitement and apprehension. Embracing this transformation will require courage, resilience, and unyielding faith, as it entails confronting past shadows and self-imposed limitations. But take heart, for you're not alone in this journey. God stands beside you, offering guidance, support, and strength. He understands your struggles and sees the potential for greatness within you, ready to help you overcome any obstacle. As you prepare to transition to a more fitting address, understand that it's not merely about changing your surroundings. It symbolizes a significant leap toward a brighter tomorrow. Your name isn't just being relocated on a map. It's marking the beginning of a fresh identity, a renewed sense of purpose, and a clean slate. Brace yourself for the journey ahead. It may be filled with unexpected twists and turns, but ultimately, it leads to a destination of joy, abundance, and fulfillment. This journey encompasses the realization of your deepest aspirations, the fulfillment of cherished dreams, and the unfolding of God's divine plan for your life. As you embark on this path, keep faith alive, trusting in God's unwavering love, and seizing the opportunities that come your way. Every challenge presents a chance for growth, every setback an opportunity for resilience, and every change a doorway to transformation. Let go of the past, release your fears, and step boldly into the promising future ahead. With God as your guide, shaping your path, anticipate a life beyond your wildest dreams. Embrace the assurance of this divine message and allow it to unfold gracefully in your life, one step at a time. Truly, in His infinite wisdom and boundless compassion, God has been a steadfast presence throughout your journey, witnessing every moment, triumph, and trial with unwavering attention. He has observed the depths of your struggles, the weight of your burdens, and the tears shed in moments of despair. Yet, within the darkness, He has also seen the glimmer of hope, the resilience, and the steadfast faith that has sustained you. Through every challenge and setback, God has stood by your side, guiding and patiently waiting for your complete surrender to His divine will. He recognizes the potential within you, the latent strength awaiting release, and the extraordinary destiny that awaits. As you stand on the cusp of a new chapter, God is prepared to work through your unwavering trust and confidence to bring about a profound and significant shift. This moment is one of divine intervention, orchestrated by the Almighty, where the pieces of your life will harmonize perfectly with His plan. As you venture forth on this journey, remember that you're never alone. God walks beside you, casting His divine light upon your path and showering you with boundless grace. Trust His guidance, have faith in His plan, and welcome the change He has destined for you. 
This moment of transformation calls you to step into your full potential, embrace the blessings ahead, and fulfill the destiny woven for you since time began. With God's wisdom as your compass and His compassion as your strength, no challenge is insurmountable and no dream is out of reach. Embrace this moment wholeheartedly, knowing that God's hand is upon you, leading you toward a future brimming with hope, purpose, and endless possibilities. Trust in His plan, for it is through His grace that you'll discover true peace, lasting joy, and the fulfillment of your deepest desires. In recent times, you might have felt burdened by obstacles and disheartened by unmet goals. But recognize that God wants you to understand that your season of hardship is drawing to a close. Divine energy surrounds you, aligning with celestial forces to pave the way for a transformation symbolized by a new address. This place holds profound significance, promising comfort, joy, and fulfillment. Your name is not just written, but deeply engraved on the door of this long-awaited destination. A place that has lingered in the recesses of your dreams, waiting for this moment to become a reality. In His infinite kindness and wisdom, God is graciously offering you the chance to transition to a space that perfectly aligns with the deepest desires of your heart. While this shift may initially feel unfamiliar, it serves as a profound gateway to a life brimming with fresh opportunities, novel connections, and a revitalized sense of purpose. Indeed, God comprehends the profound impact of change, recognizing that it often stirs a complex mix of emotions as you navigate uncharted territory. It's natural to experience a sense of unease when confronted with unfamiliar environments and new faces. Yet, amidst this uncertainty, God offers assurance and comfort. This transition transcends mere physical relocation. It represents a divine gift, a sacred intervention orchestrated by the hand of the Almighty. It's a pivotal moment designed to propel you toward the life you've long envisioned, a life infused with purpose, meaning, and fulfillment. In His boundless wisdom, God sees beyond the surface of your circumstances. He understands the deeper significance of this transition, recognizing the opportunities for growth, transformation, and spiritual awakening that lie ahead. With every step you take into this new chapter of your life, God's guiding presence surrounds you, providing strength, guidance, and unwavering support. Embrace this transition with faith and courage, knowing that you are not alone. God walks beside you, illuminating the path ahead with His divine light. As you journey forward, trust in His plan, surrendering yourself to the unfolding of His divine will. For in this sacred transition, you are being led closer to the realization of your true purpose and the abundant blessings that await you. He encourages you to embrace the opportunities that come your way as you acclimate to this fresh location. This transition extends beyond mere physical movement. It signifies a profound shift in energy and a cosmic alignment that opens doors to new friendships, career prospects, and pathways for personal growth. The atmosphere of this new address is not only welcoming but also imbued with the scent of abundance and prosperity. It serves as a beacon for a new chapter in your life, one that is destined to overflow with happiness, fulfillment, and the realization of your deepest aspirations. God's guiding hand gently leads you along this path, directing you toward a future brimming with joy and contentment. Although the initial moments of change may seem daunting, God encourages you to place your trust in His divine plan. Each step you take in this new direction is carefully guided by the loving hand of the Almighty. Your journey has been intricately woven to guide you toward a future filled with blessings and divine grace. Remember, God's presence transcends physical locations. He is with you always, guiding and protecting you wherever you go. The change in your address is not merely a relocation. It signifies a profound transformation that extends to every aspect of your life. As you embark on this new adventure, open your heart to the endless possibilities that await you. Embrace the gifts that flow from the divine realm, 
for God's love knows no bounds. This shift is more than a simple move. It offers you the opportunity to live a life that reflects the divine design crafted specifically for you. God showers you with blessings, so embrace this transition with courage and hope. In the midst of uncertainty, may you find solace in knowing that God's hand is supporting you every step of the way. Even amidst the trials that assail and weary you, I am here to shield you from harm. Though you may feel defeated and drained, I will rekindle your will to persevere, strengthening you from the ashes of adversity. Future generations will witness the extent of my blessings upon you, adorning you with honor, clearing your paths, and illuminating your home with my glory. Everything you're undergoing today is a process of refinement, akin to gold that shines only after passing through fire. Likewise, you will shine, purified of all negative aspects that linger within. I address you, my cherished daughter, my beloved son, not to elevate you above others, but to imbue you with the wisdom to extend a helping hand to those who stumble. I urge you to release resentment, pride, fear, doubt, and faltering faith. Look not to the past, for the joy you will experience now surpasses any prior happiness. Reflect on the small and great blessings for which you are grateful. Proceed with a clear conscience, holding fast to my virtues. In moments of weakness or weariness, do not lose heart. Instead, turn your ear to my words, allowing them to permeate your soul and infuse you with tranquility. Invite me into the depths of your being, where my presence brings a profound sense of peace. Take this opportunity to nourish your mind and spirit, allowing them to rejuvenate and flourish. As the creator of the cosmos, my authority surpasses all worldly threats. You need not succumb to the whispers of fear that seek to undermine your faith. Let your trust in me remain unwavering, your compassion steadfast, and never lose sight of the progress you've made. If you find yourself feeling weak despite your accomplishments, remember the importance of acknowledging your own limitations and recognizing your dependence on me. When your faith aligns with my power, you become unstoppable, your spirit revitalized, and your determination unshakable. Embrace this message of faith, allowing it to dispel your weaknesses and embolden you to declare, I am strong. With our combined strength, there is no obstacle you cannot overcome, no challenge too daunting to face. As you internalize this truth, let it permeate every aspect of your being, empowering you to navigate life's journey with resilience and grace. Move forward with hope, without hesitation, ascending to the summit where I await you. This peak is where your grandest aspirations may be realized. Now is the opportune time and place for you to yield to my will and allow my intervention in your life. From this moment onward, you will soar. I've led you here to ensure you don't look back, but instead rise higher, surveying the land of blessings from above. No longer will you awaken in misery or desolation, nor will you dwell in hopelessness or sleep in agony. Your life will be filled with vibrant faith and purpose from this day forward. As surely as the sun rises each morning, resolve to find contentment regardless of circumstances. Let not worries or unfavorable news dim the radiant smile that graces your face. Remember, you are my cherished son, my beloved daughter. Never forget this truth. You have surrendered yourself entirely to me, and my Holy Spirit dwells within you. You needn't imitate the words or actions of others, for you are uniquely crafted. Imagine, if you will, a season as this, so filled with God's grace that every step forward is guided by His hand. Every challenge faced is an opportunity for growth, and every moment is steeped in the potential for miraculous change. As we greet each day of March, let us embrace it as a month rich with the potential for new beginnings and flourishing aspirations. It's a time to reflect on the profound spiritual journey ahead of us. This isn't just another month. It's a divine invitation to experience life-changing breakthroughs and blessings. Think of each day as a seed capable of sprouting into a testament of God's faithfulness. As the earth renews itself, 
so too can our spirits be rejuvenated, infused with fresh hope and new strength. This March, let's open our hearts to the possibilities of what faith, trust, and surrender to God's will can bring into our lives. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life this month, let us stand together in faith, believing that God will move mightily in our lives. Make listening to this prayer every day of this month a part of your daily routine as you build your faith while anticipating the blessings that God has in store for you. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. I in the gentle unfolding of the days of March. We are reminded of God's unwavering promise that He is continuously at work ushering in new blessings into our lives that emerge as unexpectedly as the first blooms of spring. With the arrival of each morning, we are embraced by His unwavering mercies as fresh and invigorating as a new dawn. Isaiah 43 verse 19 reminds us, Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This verse affirms God's continuous work in our lives. Alongside this, we are also comforted by Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23, which assures us, saying, Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Let us hold these promises close to our hearts. Let them be the guiding light through each day of this month and beyond. My friends, as God unfolds a fresh chapter in your life this month, anticipate blessings beyond your imagination. Ephesians 3 verse 20 reminds us, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. As we stand on the threshold of this new chapter, uplifted by the promise of divine blessings, let us also turn our hearts toward the horizon of breakthroughs. Just as we are encouraged by Ephesians 3 verse 20 to anticipate blessings beyond our imagination, let this assurance propel us into a realm where barriers are broken and limits are surpassed. In this sacred space of expectation, let us hold fast to the belief that with God, every moment is ripe with potential for transformation and victory. The concept of breakthrough is not just a fleeting wish, but a divine promise waiting to unfold in your life this month. Picture yourself standing before vast seas, with faith as your staff, ready to part the waters. The obstacle that once seemed insurmountable will become pathways to victory. Breakthroughs are born from moments of steadfast faith and unwavering trust in God's timing. Let this month be your moment of crossing over, leaving behind the wilderness and stepping into the promised land of your destiny. Joshua 1 verse 9 encourages us, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The month of March calls for a declaration of freedom and deliverance from every form of bondage and evil that has tried to hold you captive. Deliverance is God's hand extended in the darkest nights, His power setting you free from chains unseen. Like dawn breaking upon the night, God's light is ready to shatter the shadows, offering a way out where there seems to be none. Stand firm in your faith, for deliverance is not just a possibility. It is your inheritance as a child of God.my friends. As the earth breaks open to reveal the first signs of spring, so too can healing break through the hard ground of hurt and illness. Healing flows from the very heart of God, a balm for every wound and a remedy for every pain. This March, let hope rise within you like the springtime sun, warming places that have been long cold and forgotten. God's desire is to see you whole, to mend what has been broken, and to restore what was lost. Embrace His healing touch, for it is as sure as the sunrise. Jeremiah 30 verse 17 tells us, For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. As you navigate each day of this month, know that you are surrounded by God's safeguarding love and protection. Protection in this new month is as a fortress built around you, a shield that no enemy can breach. The same God who watches over the sparrow is attentive to your every step, guarding you from seen and unseen dangers. Walk confidently into each new day, for you are covered by the Almighty Shadow, a place where fear cannot reside. Psalm 91 colon 4 reassures us, He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. My friends, the month of March stands as a beacon of hope, 
a testament to the enduring love and power of God at work in our lives. Dot, it's a time to sow seeds of faith and to expect a harvest of miracles. As the natural world around us bursts into life, let us also look for the signs of spiritual renewal and growth. Each day is a canvas painted with opportunities for blessings, breakthroughs, deliverance, healing, and protection. Let this month of March be your turning point, a period of extraordinary transformation that sets the tone for the rest of your year. With God by your side, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Philippians 4 verse 13 declares, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This powerful assurance reminds us that with faith in Him, our possibilities are boundless. Remember, the same power that raised Christ from the dead is at work within you, ready to do immeasurably more than all you ask or imagine. March forward with courage, for you are destined for greatness, surrounded by God's blessings and favor. As we embrace the fullness of what March has to offer, let's do so with hearts open to the transformative power of God's love. Ready to receive the abundant life that He promises, let this month be a testament to His faithfulness. As we walk in the fullness of His blessings and breakthroughs, propelled by divine motivation towards the destiny He has ordained for us, not all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. And remember, you should also listen to this prayer each day of this month as you come in agreement and build your faith. It's a daily commitment to seeing God's hand move in every aspect of your life. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, the King of kings and Lord of lords, He who was and is and is to come, You are the Almighty and everlasting God, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I stand in awe of Your magnificent glory and power, acknowledging You as the Creator of all things and the Sustainer of life. Your greatness and majesty fill the heavens and the earth, and Your wisdom is unsearchable. You are worthy of all praise, and Your love endures forever. Lord, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and praise. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless mercy, and the countless blessings you have poured into my life. Lord, thank you for the precious gift of life and for guiding me safely thus far. Your faithfulness has been my shield. Thank you for the promise of new beginnings, for the hope that springs eternal with the dawn of each day. May my heart always be attuned to your grace and goodness as I navigate the days ahead. Merciful Father, I confess my sins before you, those known and those hidden in the shadows of my heart. I ask for your forgiveness, and with a heart made free by your grace, I also forgive those who have trespassed against me. Lord, help me to release any harbored bitterness and resentment so that I may fully embrace the freedom found in forgiveness. Thought I seek your guidance each day as I navigate the paths you have set before me and as I encounter the challenges of life. Enlighten my path with the light of your wisdom and lead me in decisions that align with your will. Grant me the discernment to recognize your voice amidst the noise of the world and the boldness to follow it without hesitation. In every situation, may your guiding hand be upon me, directing my journey towards paths of righteousness and peace. I, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that confusion and doubt will not derail my journey. Father, I stand firm in the belief that your wisdom will be my compass, guiding every step I take towards the destiny that you have ordained for me. Lord, I seek your provision in every aspect of my life, trusting that you will supply all my needs according to your riches and glory. Grant me the wisdom to steward your blessings wisely and the faith to believe for abundance in areas of scarcity. In your grace, open the doors of opportunity and pour out your provision so I may reflect your generosity in my life. Thought I pray for healing, Lord, in every part of my being. Heal my body from illness, mend my heart from brokenness, and restore my spirit from weariness. I stand firm on your promises of healing and restoration, and with faith, I claim complete healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your divine healing power flow through every cell of my body rejuvenating my mind, heart, and soul. As I receive your healing, let it be a testimony of your unfailing love and compassion, not just in my life, but also in the lives of my loved ones who are in need of your touch. I, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke and bind every form of bondage and declare deliverance over my life. I declare that every chain of addiction, fear, and any form of oppression is broken in the name of Jesus. I rejoice in the freedom that comes from your saving grace, Knowing that whom the sun sets free is free indeed, may your hand guide me, 
bringing breakthroughs even in the barren areas of my life. Lord, I ask for your divine protection to be a shield around me and my loved ones. Guard us from the schemes of the enemy, from dangers seen and unseen. In the powerful name of Jesus, I rebuke every attack aimed to harm us, trusting that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Your faithfulness is our armor and protection, and under your wings we find refuge. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. Almighty God, you are the rock of our salvation. We come in agreement seeking your face, asking for your hand to move mightily in our lives. Bless us, Lord, with your holy presence, fill us with your spirit, and lead us into a deeper relationship with you. Together we claim victory over our challenges, we declare healing over our bodies and minds, and we celebrate the peace and joy found in your love. Merciful Father, we stand against the spirit of poverty and lack in our lives, and we welcome the spirit of prosperity and abundance. I, in the name of Jesus, we declare that we are blessed to be a blessing. And as vessels of your blessings, we become channels through which your abundance flows to enrich others. We pray for divine wisdom and discernment in every decision we face. Lead us by your Spirit to walk in paths of righteousness. Shield us from deception and guide us into all truth. Grant us understanding and clarity to navigate life's challenges. Open our spiritual eyes to recognize the hidden traps and snares of the enemy and bestow upon us the wisdom to avoid them. Heavenly Father, we come before you seeking your divine protection over our relationships and interactions. Guard us from toxic relationships, manipulative individuals, and those who intend to cause harm. Surround us with the warmth of godly friendships, the wisdom of mentors, and the counsel of advisors who will uplift us on our faith journey. Bestow upon us the discernment to gracefully navigate the complexities of different personalities and relationships while we maintain a posture of love, grace, and forgiveness towards all. Almighty God, we call upon your strength and power to help us stand firm against the wiles of the enemy. In unity, we resist every temptation and commit to walking obediently according to your word. Protect us from the unseen battles of spiritual warfare. May your host of angels encamp around us, guarding our every step. We seek your divine protection over our words and actions, that we may be vessels of life, sources of encouragement and edification to those we encounter. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we are protected in our comings and goings. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. We are grateful, Lord, for the assurance that your goodness and favor will be with us every step of the way. Let your peace that surpasses all understanding carry us through this month. We thank you for all that you have done and for all that you are about to do. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Imagine you're walking through a dense fog where your vision is limited and every step is an act of trust. This is much like our walk with God, a journey through the unknown, relying solely on His guidance and not our limited perception. Today, I will share with you profound insights into walking by faith and not by sight or emotions. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends in this world, we are often tempted to rely on what we can see and feel. Yet, let us embrace the wisdom of Hebrews 11 verse 1, which declares, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This profound truth anchors us in the midst of life's ever-changing tides. It calls us to place our trust in God's plan, even when it stretches beyond our understanding or visible horizon. Let us walk in faith, irrespective of the shifting sands of our circumstances and feelings. As we journey together, we will explore seven key insights that will help us navigate this path of faith. These insights will deepen our trust in the Lord and guide us in aligning our steps with His divine will. Number one, walking by faith, not your emotions. Life often presents us with a roller coaster of emotions, and you know what? But our emotions can be misleading, taking us on a path that deviates from God's plan. The story of Elijah in 1 Kings 19 offers a powerful lesson on this. After a significant victory at Mount Carmel, Elijah plunged into despair and fear due to Jezebel's threats. 
Despite having just witnessed God's mighty power, his emotions in that moment overshadowed his faith. This reminds us that even the strongest among us can falter if we lean too heavily on our emotional responses. My friends, in moments of emotional turmoil, let us hold on to the truth found in Psalm 56 verse 3, which says, Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. This scripture not only addresses our fears, but also our broader emotional responses. It teaches us that our faith should not be swayed by the ever-changing tides of our emotions. Instead, we are called to place our trust in decisions in the steadfast love of God, not in the temporary whispers of our feelings. Walking by faith and not by emotions requires us to cultivate a deep sense of discernment and reliance on the Holy Spirit. It means that in moments of fear, anxiety, or even overwhelming joy, we pause and align these feelings with God's Word. It's about understanding that emotions are part of our human experience, but they should not be the compass that guides our decisions or our belief in God's promises. Therefore, as we navigate the challenges of life, let us seek wisdom and guidance from the Holy Spirit. Let us train ourselves to recognize when our emotions are leading us astray and stand in faith. Listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit and turn to prayer and scripture for truth in moments when our emotions threaten to overwhelm our faith. Let us remember Elijah and learn to rise above our immediate feelings, trusting in God's eternal plan and unfailing love. My friends, let us strive to walk by faith, grounded in the truth of God's word, rather than being swayed by the fleeting and often deceptive nature of our emotions. In doing so, we find stability and clarity anchored in the love and wisdom of our Heavenly Father. Number two, trusting in God's timing over our own. The concept of time often perplexes us. We live in a world that revolves around schedules, deadlines, and immediate gratification. This fast-paced life can sometimes make the virtue of patience seem like a forgotten relic. Yet, in the realm of faith, time takes on a different dimension. As we ponder on the story of Noah, we see a man who operated not on conventional time, but on God's time. Building an ark with no cloud in the sky, Noah's faith was not rooted in what he could see or understand. It was anchored in the promises of God. In this context, Isaiah 55 verse 8 echoes profoundly, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. This verse isn't just about God's higher thinking, but also about his perfect timing. Noah's steadfast obedience to a task that appeared illogical on the surface teaches us an invaluable lesson about the true nature of unwavering faith. Our journey is often marred by our impatience and our lack of trust in God's timing. We want things to happen now, forgetting that God's timeline is always perfect, even when it seems delayed by our standards. Trusting in God's timing means embracing a season of waiting. It involves understanding that our immediate desires may not align with God's ultimate plan for us. This waiting is not passive, it's an active, faithful anticipation. It's about preparing our hearts, nurturing our faith, and staying committed to God's course, even when the horizon seems distant. Noah's faithfulness during his season of waiting, building an ark amidst doubt and ridicule, is a testament to the strength that comes from trusting in God's timing. Therefore, as we navigate through our lives, let us seek to embody Noah's unwavering faith. When faced with decisions, big or small, let us pause and consider God's timing. This perspective shift is not about inaction. It's about aligning our actions with God's divine schedule. In moments of impatience and uncertainty, let us recall Noah's ark, a symbol of trust and obedience in God's perfect timing. God guiding us to a deeper understanding of faith. Number three, surrendering personal ambitions to divine will. At times, our personal ambitions and dreams seem to chart our course. Yet, God's plan calls us to a different path. The story of Jonah vividly illustrates this struggle. Jonah was called to go to Nineveh, a task he initially ran from because it conflicted with his personal desires and prejudices. His journey, including the extraordinary experience inside the belly of a great fish, symbolizes the internal conflict we face when our plans clash with God's. As we reflect on Jonah's story, we are reminded of Proverbs 19 verse 21. 
There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel that will stand. This verse teaches us about the supremacy of God's will over our own ambitions. Jonah's eventual decision to obey God despite his initial reluctance demonstrates the importance of surrendering our plans to God, trusting that his plans are not only different but better. Surrendering to God's will often means stepping outside our comfort zones and confronting our deepest fears and prejudices. For Jonah, going to Nineveh was not just about a physical journey, but also a spiritual transformation. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness, but of profound strength and faith, acknowledging that our personal ambitions must align with God's higher purpose. Therefore, in our lives, when we find our ambitions clashing with God's calm, let us remember Jonah's journey. It's a call to introspection and realignment, a reminder that our ultimate purpose is found not in the pursuit of our ambitions, but in aligning them with God's divine plan. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up on our dreams. It means reshaping them to fit into the grand narrative God has written for us. Number four, overcoming doubts with God's assurance. Doubts are a natural part of our faith journey. They challenge our beliefs and can lead to spiritual growth if navigated wisely. The story of Thomas, often labeled as Doubting Thomas, offers a unique perspective on this. After the resurrection of Jesus, Thomas struggled with doubt, unable to believe without seeing Jesus with his own eyes. His story is a reflection of our own moments of doubt, where we see tangible proof of God's presence and plan. In these moments, Jesus' words to Thomas resonate deeply, as recorded in John 20 verse 29, where he said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. This verse is not just a rebuke of doubt, but an invitation to a deeper faith, a faith that believes in God's plan even when it's not visibly evident. Thomas's eventual declaration of faith upon seeing Jesus reminds us that our doubts, when surrendered to God, can lead to a stronger conviction in his plan for us. Overcoming doubt requires an intentional cultivation of faith and trust in God. It involves seeking him through his word, prayer, and the fellowship of believers. Thomas's story teaches us that it's okay to have questions or uncertainties, but we should not let them distance us from God. Instead, we should bring them to him, allowing his truth to guide and reassure us. As we face our doubts, let's be encouraged by Thomas's journey from skepticism to faith. Let us embrace our doubts not as hindrances, but as stepping stones to a deeper understanding and trust in God's plan. In our quest for answers, let us remain open to the ways God reveals His will and purpose for our lives. Number 5. Embracing Transformation Through God's Guidance Personal transformation is often a key aspect of aligning with God's plan. The transformation of Saul to Paul is one of the most striking examples of this. Saul, initially a persecutor of Christians, experienced a radical transformation on the road to Damascus. This was not just a change of heart, but a complete redirection of his life's purpose. Guided by God's hand, Paul's transformation, as he later became known, was marked by a total surrender to God's will. As he states in Galatians 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. This profound declaration highlights the essence of embracing God's plan. It's about letting go of our old selves and allowing God to reshape our identity and purpose according to His divine will. Embracing transformation through God's guidance requires humility and a willingness to let go of our former ways. For Paul, this meant abandoning his previous beliefs and practices to fully embrace the teachings of Christ. This kind of transformation can be challenging, as it often requires us to step into unfamiliar territory and adopt new ways of thinking and living. Therefore, as we seek to align with God's plan, let us be open to the transformative work He wants to do in us. Like Paul, let us be willing to undergo the changes that come with following Christ. This transformation is not a loss of self, but a discovery of our true identity and purpose in God. It's a journey from who we are to who God intends us to be. Number six, persevering in faith despite challenges. The journey of faith is often marked by challenges and trials. These moments test our perseverance and commitment to God's plan. 
The story of the prophet Hosea is a profound example of unwavering faith amidst adversity. Hosea was called to marry an unfaithful woman, Gomer, as a symbol of God's love for an unfaithful Israel. This difficult path was not a reflection of personal failure, but a profound illustration of God's unwavering commitment and love. Hosea's life reminds us of James 1 verse 12, which says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. This verse highlights the virtue of perseverance. Enduring challenges in our faith journey is not about silently bearing pain, but also about remaining steadfast in our trust in God's plan. Even when it leads us through difficult and incomprehensible paths, persevering in faith requires us to look beyond our current struggles and focus on the greater purpose that God has for us. Hosea's unwavering commitment to God, despite the pain and humiliation he endured, serves as a powerful testament to the strength that comes from divine assurance. It's about understanding that our trials are not just obstacles, but opportunities for growth and deeper reliance on God. As we face our own challenges, let us draw inspiration from Hosea's perseverance. Let us remember that our trials are temporary, but the lessons and strength we gain from them have eternal significance. In times of hardship, let us cling to the promise of the crown of life, persevering in faith and trusting in the unfailing love and plan of God. Number 7. Walking in Faith, Not by Sight The essence of walking by faith is beautifully captured in the life of Abraham. Called to leave his homeland and go to an unknown land, Abraham's journey was marked by faith in God's promises, even when they seemed distant and unattainable. He believed in God's promise of a son despite his and Sarah's old age and was willing to sacrifice his promised son, Isaac, trusting in God's plan above his understanding. Abraham's life resonates with 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. This principle defines our Christian walk, a journey based not on visible evidence but on the assurance of God's promises. Abraham's willingness to step into the unknown Trusting in God's word sets a powerful example for us. Walking by faith, not by sight, means trusting in God's promises even when they defy our logic or timelines. It involves letting go of our need for visible proof and relying on the certainty of God's word. Abraham's journey, filled with ups and downs, was a testament to the fact that faith is not a straight path, but a series of steps taken in trust and obedience. Therefore, as we walk our own journey of faith, let us be inspired by Abraham's example. Let us embrace the uncertainties and challenges with faith, knowing that our sight is limited but God's vision is infinite. In every step, in every decision, let us walk by faith, holding on to the promises of God, assured that His plan for us is perfect and His timing is impeccable. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you are mighty and majestic. Your glory fills the heavens and the earth. You are the rock of ages, the great I am, the one who is, who is, and who is to come. Your wisdom is unsearchable, and your power is like no other. In your presence, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that you are Lord. I lift your name on high, for you are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. I thank you, Father, for your manifold blessings in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless grace, and your merciful kindness that greets me each morning. Your faithfulness is my shield and buckler. Thank you for being my guide, my comforter, and my steadfast hope in times of uncertainty. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have leaned on my understanding, for moments when my faith faltered and I walked by sight. I ask for your forgiveness, cleanse my heart from all unrighteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing all resentment and hurt. For in forgiveness, there is freedom and peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that I am walking by faith and not by sight. I rebuke every spirit of doubt, fear, and confusion. I bind any influence that contradicts your will for my life 
and I ask for wisdom, clarity, and discernment. Lord, I trust in your unfailing provision. You are my provider, and I hold on to your promise to supply all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Give me this day my daily bread and my daily benefits. Heavenly Father, I pray that your hand of healing reaches out to touch me and my loved ones, bringing restoration and wholeness in every area where we need your divine healing. I pray against every attack of the enemy, be it on our health, our minds, or our spirits. Protect us, Lord, from all harm and keep us under the shadow of your wings. Deliver us from all evil and lead us away from temptation. Lord, I pray for your blessings upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We stand in agreement, united in our desire to follow your plan and purpose for our lives. Guide us, Lord, as we navigate through life's challenges and decisions. Help us to embrace your will, overcome our doubts, and find joy and fulfillment in your divine plan. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. Fill us with the courage and strength to face whatever lies ahead. May we, like Abraham, trust in your promises, even when they seem distant. Help us to persevere through trials, knowing that you are refining us for a greater purpose. May our lives be a testament to your faithfulness and love. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we walk by faith, not by sight or our emotions. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Imagine embarking on a journey through an unknown landscape where each step forward is an act of faith and each breath a whisper of hope. This journey is not marked by the visible challenges of towering peaks or vast oceans, but by the internal battles that we face. It is marked by the moments of doubt, fear, and uncertainty that cloud our path. Yet, it is in these very moments that a profound truth emerges, a beacon of hope in the darkness. God is for us. He is the compass that guides us, the light that illuminates our path, and the strength that carries us forward. Today, we will delve into understanding how to find strength in the Lord and be assured that He will never fail us. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, we find a promise that anchors us. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse is not just a comforting thought. It is the very essence of God's promise to us, an assurance that no matter the journey, we are never alone. Together, we will discover the means to navigate life's uncertainties, fortified by the knowledge that God's presence is ever with us. Now, as we journey through life, we often encounter terrains that test our faith and resolve. These moments filled with uncertainty can make us feel as though we are journeying through a thick fog, each step uncertain, each decision filled with the potential for misstep or the risk of error. Yet, it is precisely in these moments of vulnerability that God's promise to be with us, to guide and strengthen us, becomes most tangible. Life's journey is unpredictable. We face challenges that seem insurmountable, problems that appear unsolvable, and questions that seem unanswerable. It is in these times when the fog of uncertainty surrounds us that the weight of our own weakness becomes most apparent. However, it is also in these times that the strength of God's presence shines brightest. The story of David and Goliath is told in 1 Samuel 17 verse 45 serves as a powerful reminder of this truth. Facing a giant, David declared, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. David's confidence did not stem from his own capabilities, but from his faith in God's power. Like David, we are called to face the giants in our lives not with fear, but with the assurance that God is with us, providing the strength we need to overcome. This journey through life, with its highs and lows, is not a journey taken alone, 
but a shared journey with God is our constant companion. His promise to be with us is not just a reassurance of presence, but an assurance of active support. In moments of weakness, He provides strength. In times of doubt, He offers faith. And in periods of turmoil, He grants peace. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This verse is a testament to the transformative power of God's strength in our lives, a reminder that regardless of the challenges we face, we possess the capability to overcome them, not through our own might, but through the strength granted to us by Christ. As we navigate the uncertainties of life, let us remember that we do not walk alone. The fog of doubt and fear may at times cloud our path, but the light of God's presence is a constant guide. His word the compass that directs us, and His strength the foundation upon which we can build our resilience. In embracing this journey, let us draw near to God, seeking His guidance and strength in every step. Let us trust in His promise to be with us, to strengthen us, and to uphold us. And as we do so, let us find comfort in the knowledge that no matter the challenges we encounter, we are journeying with the Almighty God who never fails us. Let us now explore the practical implications of God's favor and guidance and how His presence empowers us to face life's adversities with strength and confidence. As we journey through life, it often feels as though we are navigating a vast, uncharted wilderness. The terrain is rough, the paths are unmarked, and the destination seems distant. It's in these moments of uncertainty and struggle that the presence of a guide can make all the difference, a guide who not only knows the way, but also walks with us, offering support, encouragement, and direction. This guide is God, and His promise to be with us is a testament to His unfailing support. Consider the words of Romans 8 verse 31, which boldly declares, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? This verse is not just a rhetorical question, it's a declaration of divine support. It reassures us that with God on our side, the challenges and adversaries that we face lose their power over us. The realization that the Creator of the heavens and the earth is for us should fill our hearts with courage and our steps with confidence. This simple truth changes everything. It means that no matter what we face, we are not overwhelmed because our God is bigger than our struggles. Knowing this, we can face anything, understanding that with God, we are always in a position of strength. This reassurance helps us stand firm no matter what comes our way, confident that we are never alone or without help. Now, this assurance of God being for us is not meant to suggest that our journey will be without challenge. Rather, it is a reminder that when we encounter obstacles, we do not face them alone. The battles we fight are fought with God's strength, and the victories we claim are won through His might. Just as a seasoned guide leads a traveler through treacherous terrain, God guides us, offering His wisdom and strength to navigate the complexities of life. The practical application of this truth is seen in our daily lives. When we face decisions that leave us perplexed, God's wisdom is available to guide us. When we encounter situations that threaten to overwhelm us, His strength is sufficient to sustain us. And when we feel isolated or abandoned, His presence is a constant companion, offering comfort and reassurance. But how do we tap into this divine support? The key lies in our relationship with God. Just as communication is vital between a traveler and their guide, so too is our communication with God. Prayer becomes the medium through which we express our fears, our hopes, and our needs. And it is through the study of His Word and the leading of the Holy Spirit that we gain insight into His character, His promises, and His will for our lives. Furthermore, the journey of faith is one that requires trust. Trust in God's timing, trust in His promises, and trust in His character. It is a trust that is built over time through experiences that testify to God's faithfulness and goodness. Each challenge overcome and each need met serves as a milestone in our journey of faith, reinforcing our trust in God and His provision. This journey, though personal, is also shared. As believers, we are part of a community of faith, a family of fellow travelers who share the road with us. This community offers support, encouragement, and accountability reminding us that we are not alone in our journey. 
It is within this community that we find opportunities to share our stories, to celebrate our victories, and to encourage one another in times of struggle. As we reflect on the assurance that God is for us, let us also consider the response that it calls for from each of us, a response of faith, of trust, and of obedience. The faith that God is who He says He is, the trust that He will do what He has promised, and the obedience to His guidance and commandments. It is through this response that we experience the fullness of God's support and guidance in our lives. Therefore, let us carry with us the assurance that God is indeed for us. Let this truth anchor us in times of uncertainty, strengthen us in times of weakness, and guide us in times of decision. For with God on our side, we have nothing to fear. We really don't. Remember, the devil is a liar. Let us move forward in faith, confident in the knowledge that no matter what we face, we do not face it alone. God is with us, He is for us, and through Him, we are more than conquerors. We will now turn our attention to the transformative power of embracing God's strength in our lives. Throughout the course of our daily lives, we encounter various forms of adversity, moments that test our faith, challenge our resolve, and sometimes threaten to overwhelm us. It's in these moments that the true depth of our reliance on God is revealed. The realization that our strength alone is insufficient is not a cause for despair, but an invitation to lean fully into the strength that God provides. This reliance on divine strength is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our understanding of where our true power lies. The Apostle Paul's words in 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 serve as a profound reminder of this truth. He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly I will rather boast in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This seemingly contradictory statement highlights the core of Christian strength. We do not take pride in our own power, but in God's. Our weaknesses and obstacles turn into opportunities for God's strength and grace to shine through in our lives. Embracing God's strength requires a shift in perspective. It means viewing our challenges through the lens of faith, recognizing that with God, no obstacle is insurmountable. This shift doesn't negate the reality of our struggles, but places them in the context of God's greater power and purpose. Again, it's an acknowledgement that our journey through life is not undertaken alone, but in collaboration with the divine, where our efforts are enhanced and completed by God's power. This divine partnership empowers us to approach life's battles with a different mindset. Instead of being overwhelmed by the magnitude of our challenges, we are encouraged by the knowledge that God is with us, fighting for us, and through Him, we have victory. And remember, this doesn't mean we won't face difficulties or that our faith won't be tested. What it does mean is that in the midst of our battles, we have a source of strength that is inexhaustible, a well of courage that never runs dry, and a promise of victory that is certain. Living in the strength that God provides also has a profound impact on how we relate to others. It compels us to move beyond our limitations and to act with compassion, courage, and conviction. As we experience God's strength in our lives, we are motivated to be agents of His love and grace in the world around us. Our battles, once seen as personal struggles, become opportunities to testify to God's power and to offer hope to others facing similar challenges. My friends, let us also consider that our God is unchanging and unfailing in nature. His steadfast love and faithfulness are our constant companions through every season. To truly grasp that He is for us, we must also understand that He will never fail us. And in so doing, we must understand His character. God is not like humans who might make promises only to break them when circumstances change. God's promises are as unshakable as His very nature. When He commits to being by our side, He means it for eternity. This assurance enables us to be confident that He is for us and face the uncertainties and challenges of life with a calm heart and a steady spirit, knowing that regardless of what we encounter, God's support remains unwavering. Living with the knowledge that God will never fail us transforms the way we approach every aspect of our existence. 
It allows us to take bold steps of faith, to dream big, and to pursue our God-given destinies without fear of abandonment. When we stumble or fall, as we inevitably will, this promise offers us the strength to rise again, dust ourselves off, and continue the journey. It's a reminder that our failures do not define us in the eyes of God. Rather, His unfailing presence is a testament to our inherent worth and potential in Him. Therefore, let us carry forward the assurance that no matter the trials we face or the mountains we must climb, God's presence and support are guaranteed. God is for us. He is with us every step of the way. His promise is as reliable as the dawn. In every moment of doubt, every season of struggle, and every celebration of victory, may we remember this. Our God will never fail us. My friends, let's carry with us the empowering truth that resonates at the heart of our message. God is for you. So be strong in the Lord. He will never fail you. In every step of your journey through the highs and the lows, remember that you are never walking alone. The Lord stands beside you as a steadfast guide, offering His strength, His love, and His unwavering support. Let this knowledge fill you with courage and hope. When you face the mountains of life, look to Him, draw from His infinite strength, and move forward with confidence. For in the Lord, you have an unshakable support, and with Him, you will navigate the challenges of life not just with endurance, but with victory. Be strong in the Lord, my dear friends, for He will never fail you. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of thanksgiving and praise. I acknowledge your greatness, your majesty, and your sovereignty over all creation. You are the Rock of Ages, the King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. Your power is unmatched, your wisdom and love are boundless. I worship you, Lord, for who you are, my fortress, my deliverer, and my strength. Lord, I give you thanks for the gift of life and for the countless blessings you have poured into my life and the lives of my loved ones. I am grateful for your mercies that are new every morning and for your grace that sustains me. Thank you for your unwavering presence and for walking beside me through every trial and triumph. Lord. I ask for your forgiveness for my sins, for the times I have fallen short of your glory. I also choose to forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness or resentment in my heart. Cleanse me, Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Father, I stand on your promises, drawing strength from your word. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke the spirit of fear, doubt, and discouragement binding them in the name of Jesus, and I claim faith, hope, and love in my life. Lord, empower me to be strong in you and in the power of your might. Fill me with the wisdom, courage, and strength to face life's battles, knowing that with you, victory is assured. I decree healing over my body, mind, and spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for your healing touch upon my loved ones. Mighty God, I stand against every attack of the enemy, praying against sickness, depression, financial lack, and strife. I claim protection over myself and my loved ones, asking you to shield us from all harm and to guide our steps. Bless us, Father, with your favor and peace, and may your healing hand touch every area of our lives that needs restoration. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement standing united in faith as we pray for each other. Strengthen us, Lord, to overcome every challenge with grace and to walk in your ways. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, guiding us into all truth and empowering us to live lives that honor you. Bless us, Lord, with your presence. May we experience your profound peace, joy, and love in abundance. Protect us from the snares of the enemy and let your hand be upon us for good. We declare your lordship over our lives, claiming victory over every battle, healing for every wound and sickness, and provision for every need. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of my loved ones, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, 
for hearing and answering my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.